Hey everybody, it's Dalton. Let's talk about pitching a drop shot against vertical walls, especially vertical rock walls. Let's take a second here and talk about uh, these rocky bluff walls. They hold fish. You can see on the graph here, there's fish right down here about 16 feet. So there's a couple of ways to fish these bluff walls. One of them is drop it straight down to them, okay? And while I'm talking, I'll go ahead and drop it down, see if I get a bite. I haven't been vertical fishing over here. I've been actually pitching up on these walls. And when you look at these walls, a lot of times you'll think, oh no, they're just, they're just all deep. But there's little shelves that are on these walls. And these shelves right here are where a lot of the bass hang out. It's a nice healthy spotted bass right there. Fishing these bluff walls. And uh, one of the ways I like to do it is with a drop shot. And what I do is I just pitch a drop shot around the sides of these bluff walls. And it, uh, it can produce some fish because they do hang around off these bluff walls. The bait get up in here, bass get up there and eat them. one right off that bluff wall. Hanging right outside those walls, feeding on bait. This one feels pretty good. Might be my biggest one so far today. Oh yeah, definitely. I have to get down there and get him so I don't lose him. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. You're good and tired, buddy. You're good and tired. This is a good way to catch bigger bass. Come up to those bluff walls where they hang out and get them in there. Woo! That's a, that's a nice one right there. Oh yeah. Nice bass. This is what I'm talking about right here. Get on these bluff walls, pitch them. Good, maybe three pounder right here. Absolutely gorgeous bass. The two ways I like to fish a drop shot, vertical or pitching it. I don't like casting it. This is a result of pitching. Whew, I'll show you what I'm using. My line snapped on me, thank goodness in the boat. This is a big bite bait limit maker. I take about a quarter of an inch of it and I cut it. And I really like the action of that tail. This particular color is called tilapia. It's got all kinds of flakes on it, so works really good. That was a nice bass. Another one over there in 
bass are really relate, relating to rocks right now. Catching most of my fish with round rocks. Hey, little guy. But he's a bass. Whoops. Squirrely little bass. Just kind of put the limit maker on like this. And it uh, works just fine. You get a lot of bites on it. So if you ever are around bluff walls like this, let me show you my setup. I've got an Okuma EVX. This is the uh, seven foot one. I've got a 15 pound braid, but my leader is 10 pound fluorocarbon. I've got about an eighth ounce weight. Make sure you tie a crummy knot on the weight because you will get stuck in these rocks. And when you do, you just lose the weight. Just tie another weight on. I've got a size one trocar drop shot hook and then I've got I'll show you here these are called big bite bait limit makers really good baits um, these are great for drop shotting you can Ned rig them there's a number of ways to use them when I'm drop shotting I usually take about a quarter of an inch of this and I cut it off makes it a little shorter and that little tail really mimics a bait fish this color is tilapia, has all kinds of flakes on it. Uh, great little bait, big bite bait limit maker. It's one of my wife's favorites. Fishing bluff walls, pitching a drop shot. One of the best ways to catch them. I hope this video helps. Talk to you soon.